So cystinosis is another example of a membrane protein important for transport that's either not being made or it's not fully functional. Like other genetic diseases, there's a number of changes. We focus in on individuals where the cystinosin protein is not being made because of a nonsense mutation. So by enabling individuals to make this protein, then they can once again transport cysteine. Now, cystinosis is a very unique example. The ideal patient would be a six-month-old baby who is just diagnosed as having a lack of the protein. If we could intervene early and enable them to make the protein and it was fully functional, hopefully we could avoid most of the impact of today of what occurs when individuals don't have the transporter. Now, fortunately, for many individuals, there are approved drugs that allow them to complex the cysteine and pump it out of the cell during, uh, through a different pathway. But there's about one out of 10 to one out of four patients has a nonsense mutations. And for those individuals, uh, being able to make that essential protein could represent a big opportunity to restore a better transport function and reduce the burden of the disease.